Hi everybody and welcome to a Patriotic Plays Valentine's special where this is going out for Valentine's Day and look it's got love in the title so it has to be Valentine's Day. It's going to be Halloween isn't it? Luckily I'm not on my own spawns here who set this up for me. She's not played it either so it'll be interesting to see how um, romantic it is. Yeah I, I don't know how I got the game, I didn't buy it. It's just in my Steam account for some reason. Obviously the monster um, Apparently you. February... Ooh, May, February, oh, May, baby, maybe 14th. it was. I don't know, it was February 2017. I got the game. Oh, wow. Never played it. Again, don't know how I got it. Um, but it's got loves in the heart, like I said. So I was, and it, I think I got it in February. Yeah. Makes it maybe it is romantic. Yes, we'll, we shall find. If not, it's going out on Valentine's Day. Either anyway, way. it'd be like a funny thing. Like, oh no, he doesn't yes. love us. He wants to eat us. Yeah, that's so what's going to happen. I have yes, no idea what it's about, Pat. I, said, I know it's a 7 plus, so I couldn't think it was that bad. The worrying thing, Spawn, is you've bought your controller and you've not plugged it in anywhere. I don't need the controller. I thought we were going to play a different game. Ah, so we're fine. But we're not playing that game. We've put the controller to the side. Ah, okay, here we go then. Unless this does need controller support, but in that case we'll learn that to go. Oh, here we go. Help me begin your story. How does it go again? Long ago, deep in the forest, monsters called the Wild Mist. That's right, long ago, nestled in the heart of the forest was the monster village of Omen. You are born from slime that holds the memory of monsters known for... Action and attitude, words and thoughts. Do we have to pick one? Yeah. Oh, words and thoughts, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because my action skills aren't that great, are they? We aren't awake yet, but soon your first eye will open. Oh, one of three. One of many. Your simple dreams will give way to life itself. You dream of... Helping the sick and soothing the willful. Outsmarting everyone else. Speaking true when others lie. Oh, it's between the top one and the bottom one, isn't it, Spawn? What do you reckon? Oh! Do you want to heal people or do you want to speak truth? Well, speaking the truth could get us into trouble. Little white lies we might have to make. Well, it's only when others lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go for that one. That might I be more know. fun. I mean, no, yeah, we're yeah, doing Yeah, go speaking, speaking true when, when others, others lie. lie. Honesty. Honesty. Plus nine. Plus nine. Your body is turning and twisting, growing solid in the middle of a great vat of green slime. It's time to be born. In fact, it's got pink around it, but there you go. Is that sort of green? Oh, behind it, maybe? It's, maybe not, it's not a lot of slime, mm, is it? Maybe. You ready, Pat? Yes. Oh, there we Ooh! are. Look, the green slime. Oh, oh, be born. Be born, yes? Yes, go for it. We shall be born. You're awakening in the thawing season. Where the way, so when the ground is soft and wet. Onward! Your eye is open. You're Good. a morsel, just barely born. You float in the spawning vat. Dozens of other morsels are exploring, flailing, <laughs> and stealing you? food from each other. I do. What do I do? I want to try to swim, I think. I try to swim. <laughs> yes, I think okay. that's a definitely good thing to do. I know a morsel swims towards you. It opens Ooh, its mouth to show a set of small, sharp teeth. It <laughs> bites you! Uh, do do so that? do we want to go ah swim away from the two females or what this is intolerable stop that biting do that bottom one you pause unable to believe another morsel is trying to eat you <laughs> after a moment you snap out of it and start to move again so resist it kill it unite with other morsels to repel the attack bottom one Safety in numbers, ah, folks. You speak. Your words are simple, but some of the morsels understand you. They converge on the biter. So I've got the bitter, though. Yes, <laughs> I thought the bitter. Yeah. <laughs> this aggression will not stand. Your tiny slimy flotilla <laughs> frightens the bad morsel away. It retreats to far end of the spawning vat. Patrol the vat and look for more trouble. What happens if you didn't want to patrol the vat? There wasn't another option, was there? We've had a discussion today, I'm not going to say what it's about, folks, but we've had a discussion today about the lack of options in life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get too much into it, but this is said there's a form and there were not enough options on it. Patch was not happy <laughs> was with not happy the selection. The lack of, lack of options on the she form. wanted more. Options. <gasps> well, if they're going to give you this, this or this, they should give you the choice <laughs> of the other, that's all I'm saying. Not that it's bothered me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Splash, flutter, fish, squeak. Another morsel is too weak to swim properly. It's sinking towards the bottom oh, of the Oh, we have to go and back. help. We have to help. Yep. Oh, no, that's terrible. Oh, yes. that's the thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, too like, bubbly. Yeah. Well, but there should be a... Just <laughs> saying, there should be a let's go and help button. I think this button. one could be. It's got an exclamation okay, mark. Go for that like, one. Yeah. No, it's kind of help. 
You feel a do deep something sense about of it. Jo- click, click, yeah, I need to click. do. I need to do the story. It's, this thing's sinking as we speak. Is it though? I think this falls. <laughs> you feel a deep sense of injustice at the smaller mortals' impending demise. If only you could do something about it. Do something about it. See, there's another option there, is there? You swim to the morsel, determined to act. Get under the morsel and push it up. Yes. Or try to think. Of no, do that. You thought about it. That's what you're doing. As you push up, the morsel's dead weight forces you down. Your legs come to rest against the bottom of the spawning vat, but they begin to squish. Keep pushing! It's like giving birth. Keep pushing! Your feet are breaking up under the solid clumps on the floor of the vat. Still not giving up! Ha! Your legs are Bravery. now gone! <laughs> but you stretch your arms and body, changing your slimy shape to hold the other morsel up to the surface of the slime. Morsel out of danger. It was worth it. It was worth it losing your legs. I'm not so sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's me. Don't <laughs> grieve. It's logical. The needs of any one monster are as important. Well, it is a Valentine's. We've got to be nice to people, haven't we? Your body dissolves as you push one last time. The other morsel breaks apart. As any other. The two dissolving morsels reach for each other. They come together Aww. in a single mass and it's new love. Morsel. It's love. You two are and always will be one. It is a Valentine's one. I mean, it's only been six and a half minutes, but that's the end of the episode. That's <laughs> it. That's it. We've done our Valentine's one for today. Done a, done a great I've, bit I've of reading. Have you done Valentine's one for You've grown too, oh, we're too mm. big. Well, of course, there's two of us and I've become one. Yeah. Uh, you've grown too big for the spawning vat. You must move on to the next stage of life and become monsterling. Got any advice? We seek advice in life. It's always a good thing to do. You're going to get into some trouble, which is great. Exercise your bravery, cleverness, ferocity, kindness, and honesty. What kind of monster will you be? Ooh, indeed. To the brood cave and adventure. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Just notice, Spawn, in the corner, it's got eight days left. Maybe that's our mm. lifespan in Barat, perhaps. Yes, maybe that's it. We've only got eight oh, days oh, to well, live. Yeah, I've, really, I've cheated. <laughs> the top bit shows how many days you've oh, left to the next life stage, and the bottom shows how much respect you've amassed. Okay. Well, what's, respect? what's respect? Impress other monsters and now talk about how amazing you are. <laughs> And mm. more respect you gain in the early stages, the greater power you'll wield later on. Oh, gotcha. So they'll love us. Monster will love you. Oh, because it's all you. about love. It's all about love. Oh, so I guess an adventure. Yes, go for it. Isn't that so we've got our legs back. Oh, choose mm. your adventure. Oh, so we can choose. Just saying, that one looks scary, Spawn. That one with the green man. Uh, yeah, monster. I then, don't want to do that one. Um, he's like he's uh, digging, climbing. He's like he's looking at something. Yeah, should we go for the looking one? Yeah. With his one eye. You notice a line of ants marching in and out of the cave. They seem to be building an ant hill. Ah, take a closer look. Ants. They're red ants. Oh dear, they look they're angry. Bad. Big pincers in front, big stingers in the back. Oh, deal with them before they bite everybody. Because we're good. <laughs> As you draw closer to the line, some of the bigger ants click their mandib- mandibles? Oh, yeah. Mandibles, aren't yeah, you? Yes, could be. What do you want to do? So we can stomp the ants, we can deceive them, we can scare the ants. Well, let's scare the ants away. We don't have to. Ki- we don't. We don't have to stamp on them if you we don't need to. You snarl, spit, and puff your breath on the ants. They mm. scatter before you. Only a few remain, and you can just step on those. Even though that I've just said we don't want, want to, to do, do that, that. but smash. Once, we've got no choice. There's only, got carried out the only one option. <laughs> <laughs> right, seven days. That took a whole day. It took a whole day. So what do you want to do today? Can't uh, do that one. I can't do that one. Mm. Well, the wolf one looks interesting, doesn't it? The wolf one? Or the cup of pink slime. Yeah, there's your choice, Spawn. Which one do you want to go for? Um, I think we came, we've got kind of pink slime around us. I don't know that's a good thing. Okay, go for the but pink. Then I'm intrigued by the wolf. Okay. Um, I'm, intru- I'm concerned the wolf may also kill me. Yeah, go, let's go for the, the drink. Yes, the pink slime. Big old ham rag comes into the cave with a box full of metal cans. What's this? It's a box full of metal cans. Did you not read? He says, let's drink or else die. Those cans are full of what the humans call soda pop. Monsterings drink soda pop. I don't think that's a good idea. Bubbly liquid sugar, you bet. But they also <laughs> like to see who can chug the most or endure the most exploding metal cans at once. Do you think they're, eat- they're drinking the metal cans as well? So we drink, show everyone your belly can hold the most soda pop, pop or d- 
douse. Yeah. See how many exploding cans you can withstand. Ooh, oh, I don't, need them. I don't want to do either. I want another option. Uh, um, should we drink? Think? Should we drink? Yeah, I think that's less painful than the exploding cans. You drink a can of cider pop. Refreshing. Ooh, fizzy. Keep drinking. You drink another can of cider pop. Ooh, these bubbles are building up in your belly. This is not a problem. Keep drinking. I think it will be. The third can of cider pop is tricky to chug. But chug you do. This one isn't sweet and it's still full of bubbles. And so are you. <laughs> Yuck, this is getting painful. Quit before something bad happens. Or well, what's the worst can happen? Keep drinking. Should we quit? What do you think? I think we should quit. Or do you want to keep going? Oh, getting respect. Oh, no, we need to do, I just the, no, you do the bottom one, Spawn. Do the bottom one. Oh, oh yes. That's a bit of cleverness. Yeah, a bit stupid that was. Little bubbles are exploding inside of you. Gas is leaking from your hide with little squeaks when your it. belly is swelling. You don't have room for more soda pop. Lie down and nap until the bloated feeling is gone, or jump up and down and shake things more. Makes no. <laughs> lie down, lie have a nap. Ah, cleverness. Cleverness nine. has got to get back up on that one. Okay, we gained nine from that. That's not too bad. Yes. We still have some more time left. Okay. So, what else do you want to do? The wolf. Oh, let's do the it? wolf one. The, I think the next one should be the feather one because it looks like writing. Suddenly, Suddenly oh, a fox you. runs into the cave. <laughs> it yips. <laughs> looks yep. over its shoulder and runs behind a big rock. Is that snarling and growling at outside as well? It's probably Mummy Fox. Judging by the commotion, yes, there's a pack of wolves in hot pursuit. They seem reluctant to come into a cave full of monsters, even little ones like you. We are growing. Get all the monsterlings to make noise and scare the wolves away. Get the fox out from behind the rock. Run out and attack the wolves. I'm thinking first mm, option. I'm thinking first option. Ah, ah. ah! Monsterlings laugh. Well, well, monsterling laughter can be disturbing if you're not ready for it. <laughs> Obviously, the wolves fall, so. The wolves soon run off, fearful for their lives. Stupid wolves. The fox crouches on the cave floor, oh. clearly terrified. Oh. Talk to it softly. This one doesn't seem to be a talking fox, just a fox. Oh, but it's worth a go, you can just soothly. So uh, leave, leave, leave the bonus alone. Eat oh, it. kindness three. The fox runs from place to place within the cave, keeping out of reach of any monsterling who show interest. Look at that bushy little tail. Look at that cute little nose. Eventually, when it's sure the coast is clear, the fox leaves the cave. You swear it winks at you as it goes. I'm sure it did. It's in love with me. It's Valentine's, it's Valentine's Day. Day. Maybe it was secretly a talking fox. Who can understand such things, Dr. Doolittle, I'm guessing? I think so. I think so. All right, okay, so next one. You think the feather? Yeah, go for the feather. I, like I, think, the that's a, I think that's a writing one. You're at the entrance of the brood cave. Monsterlings aren't supposed to leave, you know. And just why not? Monsterlings, little... though sometimes swift and often tough, aren't as swift or tough <laughs> as full grown monsters. It can be dangerous. On the other paw, <laughs> nobody's there. Oh, should we go outside and be adventurous? It can be very boring if we I, just stay I, at home. I think we should stay at home. Okay, let's stay at home. <laughs> I don't know, I don't no, know. stay at <laughs> home, Spawn. Go, you know. What do you think? I'd go outside. Joel, should we go outside then? It's your yeah. game. Yes, let's go outside. Actually, it's my game. But <laughs> you're the one playing it. Uh, the streets of Omen are mostly empty, but you hear some larger, older monsters coming this way. Run into the forest or turn yourself in. You know you shouldn't be out there. <laughs> We've got to go and respect, haven't we? Isn't that the point? Yeah, I think if we ran too fast, we could, we could die, couldn't we? Yeah, let's run too fast then. Because <laughs> respect to the other things. Do you, do you, okay, wait, hang on. What do you think? I think run into the forest. <gasps> be daring. Oh my gosh, I'm probably going to die. Oh, well, you can turn yourself oh, in. Oh, no, no. Ha! <laughs> You're an explorer in miniature form. Look at that bird's nest. And trees, too. And green stuff that isn't lynching or slime. Aha. Uh -huh. So I think it's now time to turn around and head back to the cave. I don't think we should be stealing yes, any eggs from no, birds. I agree. And Spawn wants to go home. <laughs> many, of, many of the other monsterlings are fascinated by your tail. As you finish the telling, you see an opportunity. Aha. Uh -huh. Just tell the truth. That's what we said at the beginning. We're not going to impress them with lies. The crowd breaks up after a while. You missed an opportunity to really impress them. Everyone is still talking about your bold expedition for some time. I think they will do. Nobody's ever been outside the cave before now. No. Right, okay, so. Uh, uh, there's a puddle, there's a climbing thing, a digging thing, a pot. Let's go for the pot. Pot, yeah? Yes. You 
Nash Gash and Blisty. Oh, we've got names Blisty, now. Are wrestling near a big clay jar. We've got a name spawn. I know, it's called you. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else has got a name. You knock the jar off its ledge and it breaks into a hundred pieces. Oh no. You catch Elder Marinus out of the corner of your eye. I think you'll find our name is you. As in, that's our name, you. <laughs> <laughs> it was you. my fault, confess. Take the blame for your friends. Make good and repair it. Stay mum, nobody asks. I think make good and repair it. Yeah, I think we should repair it. Yeah. Accidents happen. You gather all the shards of clay and start sticking them together with slime, trying to do a good job. Marinus walks in and sees you working on the jar. Tell her what happened. It's always better to be honest with these sorts of she things. She smiles and says, it's all right, you did a reasonable job repairing it, but I'm glad you came clean. She pats you on the head Aww. before placing the jar back on the ledge. Thank well, it's, it's come back into a jar, hasn't it? Yes, it's, exactly. It's clearly a, a solid object now. Yes, So yes. we've somewhat repaired it. We've done a good job. A good job. Good job, you. Good job. Oh, oh there you go. Okay, I'm. Oh. You are halfway towards leaving, becoming an adolescent. Firm it for personality as much as you can. Okay. Right. Puddle? Right, so, what do you want to do? Puddle yes. Or... Puddle. Well, should we do the middle line like a bingo? He's not too great, though, is he? No. Should we do the puddle and then we do the cl climbing? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit of a struggle. Oh, digger, perhaps. The yeah. climbing do puddle. Yeah. You know, there's a puddle of glowing Ooh, slime. That's not good. At the back of the cave, it pulses like a heartbeat. Bolt shoves you towards it, daring you to eat it. Don't be a human, baby. That looks like the thing from Sesame Street, doesn't it? In that lives in the tin. It, 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 it's green, though. Is he the one who oh, no, is he green? He's, yeah, he's green. Oh, he's green. But he still reminds me of him. Is it the green? Yeah, Grouch. I think, I think What's it's his name? No, Gro 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 Grouch. 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 Yeah, it reminds me of him. Remember. Okay, we show Blotz up and eat it. Mm. Blotz should have this. Get away from Blotz and the slime. I'm thinking we get away from Blotz and yes, the slime. Yes, I think so. You flee from Blotz, who is surprised as he is amused. Other monsterlings point and call you out for your cowardness. And we stand up to them. You turn around and face them, but by now your little heart's not in it. They oh mock you briefly before losing interest and doing other monsterly things. Oh, okay. There's not another option, is there? No. You can't say talk to them a bit more. No. Convince them who we you are. We're only a baby. We're only little. Right, so, so do dig, 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 digging dig, dig, hole? Dig, dig. Yeah, let's do the dig, dig hole. Bob Claus pulls you to, into a side tunnel. There's something under there, she says. <laughs> She's got a very deep voice. She has a deep, booming voice. Points into a huge pile of bat gowner. Will you help me dig it out? Sure, help Cloblobs dig in the... What's Garner, it? Yes. Garner? Uh, refuse to dig... No, we want to go to the top one. We're trying to impress here. <laughs> Grobclaw starts digging on the left and you dig on the right. She's right. There's something solid under all this poop. Ooh, dig deeper, get stinky and beat Cloblobs to whatever it is. Or dig along with... The, oh, it's the bottom one, isn't it? Oh. Harmony! It's love. It's Valentine's Day. The two of you uncover plenty of animal skulls, oh, way lovely. too big for them to be into by bats. Perhaps a family of badgers were sleeping in here. And then thousands of bats all had to poop at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's probably it. Doctor <laughs> seems disappointed that she didn't find anything more interesting. But it was still a good day's digging practice. Okay. Okay, right, and then we've got... Oh, I keep clicking mm. the wrong one. And then... That, climbing? Yeah, yeah, I think we'll do climbing. A tiny cat Aww. scampers into the cave, Aww. followed by a worried Mopsy Moral. The yeah, cat leaps worried. and climbs, coming to rest on a high ledge. Well, the options are, I think we'll do we watch. Yeah, watch it, you know. The little cat sips on the high ledge, licking one paw and staring down at Mopsy Moral. Mopsy stares back at the cat. Mopsy Moral, who's that? I think that's the one we need to go for. Or is Mopsy writing a story about the cat? No, I... Who's but, that, yeah? Yes, that one. Mopsy makes something called the Omen Harbinger for the few monsters who can read. Oh. She's one of the older elders. Her head looks like a mushroom or a brain. Mm, okay. The little girl. Oh, uh, yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's writing a story. She mm. might be. She doesn't look hungry. Regardless, the little cat seems upset that it wasn't consulted about the matter. Climb for the kitty. Offer some lynchings and mushrooms to the kitty. You don't care about cats. I do care about cats, so it's not that one. Climb for kitty. I think we've got, because that may poison the cat. I don't want yes, to poison no. Let's climb for the kitty. Climb for the kitty. Ah, a there you go. A small cat moves with a blinding speed, leaping from ledge to out 
cocking to stag thy glum muck <laughs> to boulder. That's dangerous, a monster could get hurt, could give up. Keep chasing the little cat, keep chasing the little cat. Yes, brave we it, are. it leads you to onto a long, scary chase, but it eventually tires out. You jump down with the cat. Yay! Go us. You stand before <gasps> Mopsy Moral. <laughs> holding no. the little cat. She says, oh, thank you. We're not going to eat it. No. Mopsy says, well done, little one. I'm going to put a note about this in the next issue. You'll be famous. So aren't you glad you didn't eat it? Oh, we've got one more choice. Right, here we go. I'm thinking not, not frost face. Go for it. An evil face, terrified and snake. Yes, go for <laughs> I'm it. not fast. <laughs> nice done the bottom two lines then. Chang girl sits by herself kicking pebbles. She's clearly upset about something. You live in the smelliest cave in the world. What could be wrong? Chang Ling Chang girl frowns. Mm. I had a bad dream. I cried in my sleep. Mimi heard me, and now he's telling me I'm afraid he's more so. She's spondy voiceovers for thinking <laughs> silly. How changeling with her weeny problem. Tell Changey she should deal with it herself. Shake your head, then change the subject. Top one. Yeah? Yes, Valentine's Day. Being nice. Weemi is right over there by the lichen pile. Sorry about butchering these names, by the way. <laughs> uh, chatting with Nash Gash and Blistry. Tango <laughs> cringes as he waves at her. Okay, get Weemi alone and talk to him. Confront Weemi in front of the other monsters. Explain to Changey that it doesn't matter what Weemi says. I think the top one or bottom one? Bottom one. Yeah? Yes. Oh gosh, I've got to stop Ooh, it. Oh, look at all we've got for you that one. You convince Chang girl that nobody's going to care by the end of the day. She listens and begins to smile. And we, me, we. Oh, well, that was right by us, didn't it? Oh, I think, that, I, think right I think it took by. too much, though. Oh, oh. Oh my! You wake up and find you're no longer a little monster. Oh, like we've you're all grown growing up. up. Oh, wow. Elder Marinu, I if I could pronounce this earlier, mm. Marinus calls the, the oldest monsterlings to gather in a group. You're one of the oldest ones now, so you should join them. She looks grave. Ooh, hide and watch, see what's going on, or go with the elders. I thought we'd finish then. Go with the elders. Marinus shuffles down the long tunnel, turning this way and that among dozens of forking passages. Keep going. Marina stops in a warm, humid chamber with a pit on the floor. She points to the pit, which seethes with thick mist. Wait for her to make you go, or jump right in, or let's jump right in if you've got to go anyway. You fall and... Fall some more. And you fall, you're falling. And other monsters are falling. Yes, some oh, of them are crying. And you can't see through the mist. Or is that fog? Maybe clouds. Moans and groans and whispering screams. Where is this? It must be somewhere. You land on smooth flat stone. Despite the swirling vapour, the floor is dry as a bone. Mm. You, hear some, you, sorry, you hear other monsterlings breathing nearby. Some of them are still above you, still falling. Get out of the way, try to cushion the floor. Oh, let's, let's cushion, cushion the floor, because it is Valentine's Day. Oof. You don't see who you've helped, whoever it is rolls away into the thick fog without a word. <laughs> Gratitude is not important, Swan. You rejoin some of the monsterlings at the edge of the mist. There are more, more passages out of here than you can count. Some monsterlings begin to panic while others look determined. Ah, you should take charge. Yeah? Maybe somebody else should lead. No, let's take charge. How long do you think this is going on for Spawn? Because we've gone past our 20 minutes. I was going, I was going minutes. to stop it when we're leaving the cave, but it's yes. going long. I think we've got to keep going to the end. I can't do anything at this point. I always stop mm -hmm. here and pick up next time. But I don't know if we're doing a two part of Valentine's Day. How long is Valentine's Day going to last for you, Patch? Uh, Valentine's Day last, it's going to last 20 minutes normally, but we're over into 25 well, already. What I'm saying is, do we have another episode let's, later let's, today? Yes. Later tomorrow? Let's, let's say thinking? goodbye now. And if it's like two seconds, we'll take it on to the end. And if it's another 10 minutes, we can go for another episode like a little extra yes yeah, so, so I mean the other option of returning to this next year <laughs> it's not really an option no I don't think so so thank you for watching this part and we'll see you soon in the next as we will how will we do with leading the monsterlings out of the flat yes, stone it's, cable it's a cliff, of vapor it's a cliffhanger cliffhanger how will we do thank you Spawn um, thank you everybody have a good Valentine's Day bye
Hi everybody and welcome to some more Valentine's special with me, Patch and Spawn. And don't worry if you haven't seen the first part, go and watch it first before you watch this part. Yes, because Monster loves you. Mm, it's Monster Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. At the moment, for those who don't really, again, watch the old one. But just in case you need a recap, <laughs> we're leading some monsters out of a cave. Yes, it's, it's exciting, brilliant stuff, folks. So Hold deci on to your I decided to take lead. Yes. So the other monsterlings watch you, curious. Lead the way personally. Slash the others to show hmm. them you're in charge. Help everyone work together. Ooh, I think the bottom one. I hope everyone work together. Because it yes. is Valentine's Day. Yes, it's love is in the air. You lead the other monsterlings in a rousing song. Putting aside their trepidation, they are Oh, we've got a major problem the in... The twisting passages. Soon you have convened in a cave Oh, no, you are finished. You go. You go. A, okay, a Spawn's cat has come in and the window ledge is a very sunny place and unfortunately my cat's already on Your said window so ledge. Sunny. They're okay. Uh, you can smile can sit there. She can do, but will she? That's the problem. Darling. She's a very nervous cat, is Spawn's cat. Okay, so okay. let's see it's what we do. Oh, we only have one option. Oh, sorry. Where uh, is everyone? We can't see each other. Sorry about all the noise. Oh gosh, I've got my bag stuck in a plastic bag. What's going on? Oh yeah, let me click. Uh, okay, there we go. The chamber swirls with mist, smoke, fog, vapour, except it's not any of those things. It's ghosts! Ooh. Hundreds of them! Told you Large it was Halloween. And small. They're everywhere! It's spooky. It's a Halloween one. I, thought, I, I was quite excited about that. It's like spooky. Spooky. It's not. It's Valentine's Eve. One by one, the pale ghosts begin to turn their attention to you. They just want to be loved. Their eyes glow different colours. Stand fast, cringe a little. Stand fast. Be brave, little monster that's The ghosts bigger. speak in many voices, all hollow and distant, all in unison. They ask you, do you fear? Yes, this is scary. No, I don't think we do. They don't attack them. I don't think we do that. Wait and say nothing. Let's do the bottom one. Let's see. Bit patience required. The ghosts stare into and through you. As though you're the one made of mist, one sharp voice speaks from behind you. Why are you here? Lecture the ghosts about the monster's life circle. Attack oh them and bide your time. No, let's go to the top one. Let's give them a little lecture about our time in the slime. You take a deep breath and begin to explain how monsterlings are made to the make the charge into adolescent monsters. Stress it is like heat. Cooking our minds and bodies, they can enter a new state of being. How did he know all that? Continue to explain things to the ghosts because we've got no other options. You go on. First, our grown bodies must be destabilised so we can take on our more diverse forms, and then we must. I forget what I was. I think we might fall into a deep sleep because yet again, there's no more options. End of monsterlinghood. Here's how you're doing. Oh, so we're doing 68% percent bravery. Oh, bravery. We're doing 43% cleverness. cleverness. Ferocity, we're doing pretty Only bad 11. at, folks. Honestly, not too bad. 60 and, and kindness. kindness. It is yeah. Valentine's it's Day, just, and that's like, what we need. Yeah, I mean, that's, so, I think yep. that's what we go up and down different levels. Ah. So. Ooh, we wake up inside a well-appointed hotel. Oh, oh, I thought it said total. hotel then. <laughs> this is your home now. Oh, that's nice home. What should you be doing now? Start living as an... I think it's the bottom one. I think we should start living as an adolescent monster, folks. And so what we could do here is say that's the end of the episode. Really. We could do, yes. And we could tag this on at the end. Yeah, because it was only a few more minutes. Because it's only a few more minutes. We didn't minutes. know that, guys. We could, that, that, that could have gone really weird, bad for us, that, um, that tunnel. Yeah, we day. could have not talked to them and we would have been in huge troubles. But I do like the fact that we've got a broom and a mop. I like the fact we've got some sort of like wing And things. the mushrooms are growing on the grass mat in the front door. I tell you, it's actually not a bad home, is it? Not a bad home. No, I quite like so it. So thank you, Spawn, for ever so much for helping me with my Valentine's special this year. That's okay. I hope you will, because Monster loves you. Monster does love you, and you love a monster. I like how I like him. He's a quite I cute, do, do lovely like little monster. He's, he's very, very sweet, isn't he? And it? he's got four eyes, not three. Kind of an eye, hasn't it? Kind of eye, yes. Yeah, and so I guess it's the same sort of thing. You prove to have yeah. that, and, and you get more you options, through. and you just level up your monster and go through life. So. Yeah, so you'll leave a link in the description, won't we? Yeah. If you want to play this. Yeah, okay, I don't know how on earth I came to own this game, but I did, and I think it was quite a nice little it's thing. It's a nice to play, little game. Okay. So, we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.